to love and show care for other people, I think it's extremely important to first show self-love. There's a difference between selfishness and self-interest. Not being afraid to say no, working out, and reading some self-help books are just a few things that I like to do to show myself self-love. So the second thing to get rid of is negative mainstream media. This could be media from social media, the news, TV shows, just anything that is thrown in our faces. It could be really hard to kind of get away from it. I literally turned on the news app on my Apple TV and I saw nothing but just negative news. So I like to just turn off everything, put away the phones, put away the TVs, and just go outside and take in the moment and just be. Another thing that I like to do is sit down with my thoughts, journal, write out my goals, prioritize my life, and just focus on what I have right now in front of me. Focusing your attention on doing positive in the world is something that I like to do to get away from media. So clutter is just something that adds unnecessary stress to our daily lives. I think it's important to take a day and just go through everything. Go through all of your drawers, go through anything that you haven't been using for a while. And decluttering just instantly puts me in a better mood just because I feel so fresh and relieved and I like to donate my clothes so that just brings an extra joy to the world. Another thing that I like to do is declutter my mind by journaling and writing down the things that have been bothering me and just putting it all in front of me is a great way to declutter. So another thing I think you should get rid of is negative self-talk or negative thoughts. Something that I like to do to take control over my negative thoughts is actually through meditation. I use a meditation app that is a guided meditation and you can use it according to your mood, which is really, really fun for me. And just sitting down and taking control over your thoughts is a super powerful tool. Meditation has so many benefits and it actually has helped me control my thoughts and focus my attention on things that are more important like self-love. The next thing that I have is complaining. We can all get a little bit overwhelmed with day-to-day -day activities and people affecting us. So it's important to get rid of the complaining and some tips that I have is to actually do a gratitude journal. Writing down three things every day that you are grateful for kind of shifts your focus from the complaint that you have on your mind to what you actually have. Another thing that you could do is actually physically write down everything that's stressing you out and everything that's on your mind and physically throw it away. So something else that I find really important is to actually go outside. A lot of the times we're stuck inside from work and opening up your windows and just taking in the day, even just putting your feet in the sunlight and just feeling the sun against your skin or facing your desk towards a window can actually bring some of the same benefits as actually being outside. So next time if you have a lunch break or you are taking a break from work, Go step outside, take a walk, and just experience nature. Being outside just instantly puts me in a better mood. I think the vitamin D just brings so many great benefits. So another thing to get rid of is eating junk food. Whatever you put in your body is what you're going to be feeling. The better that you feed your body, the more you will feel happier. I like to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and just whole foods. Some of my favorite are acai bowls, of course, if you guys watch my vlogs, I eat those quite a lot. Another thing I like to do is roast veggies for Noah and I. If you're having a hard time getting motivated, inviting people over and cooking for them is a really great way to have fun with cooking and eat healthy at the same time. Just make sure that you're eating a lot of whole foods and foods that have benefits for you. So this is another one that if you watch my vlogs, you know that I do quite often, and that is deep therapeutic cleaning. I love to just clean every nook and cranny of my apartment. It totally resets my mind, resets my energy, and helps me remain positive and happy. So another thing to get rid of is excuses. We all have goals and we all have plans and we get so excited for them, but it's hard to initially take action. But once you do and create a routine of just taking that first initial step in our goals will be what drives us to actually keep going. The first time you do it, it could be hard. The second time you do it, it'll be a little bit less hard. And the third time, it'll just get easier and easier. Taking action and going towards your goals and your dreams shows results so much quicker. And that's kind of why we're all driven for our goals is the end result. 
You also want to make sure that you're taking in the moment and enjoying the process of your goals, hardships, and everything that comes with your goals because at the end of the day, that's what's going to be the journey and that's what's going to be the story. So the last thing to get rid of is comparing ourselves to other people. It's really, really hard to look through everyone's pictures and compare it to our lives, but you just need to put that down and focus on what you bring to the table. At the end of the day, don't try to prove yourself to other people and compare your lives to other people. The only person that you need to be compared to is yourself. So make sure that you're doing things that make yourself proud and live the life that you want to be living. So that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys liked it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.